Hey y'all, grown black folks talk on this muggy, extremely late summer day. In fact, today is the last day of the summer. Autumn starts tomorrow night. But on this last beautiful day of the summer, I had a realization that I wanted to share with you. Uh, last Monday, Tuesday work stuff. I'm on break now before I have to go back to dealing with some things. But um, the worst is over, but it for now, but oh my gosh. But I realized something this morning as folks didn't get their stories together and so the truth came out <laughs> and I gently let it be known. Oh, so you, so you said this over here yesterday, but are you saying this today? Bless it. But as I was sitting there as this situation was rolling out, I thought to myself, you know what, Dan? It's not even right for you to be mad. Because people who are fear-based see the world entirely different from people who are faith-based. And I think this is important to understand. I'm speaking as a Christian, but also generally. A lot of people that we encounter in life are sitting up here terrified for various reasons. And when you have to live in terror and in fear for a significant amount of time, it wires your brain differently than it is if you have faith in someone who is greater than your human opponents. Now, for a lot of people, like I said, I'm speaking generally, because what I'm talking about right now is a wiring of the brain. Now, if I was to talk, uh, speak specifically as a Christian, not only do you have that going on, the Bible says you have the mind of Christ. You can think like God thinks on some issues because you have the indwelling Holy Spirit who knows what the Lord thinks and reveals them to us and when at need. So, but even to speak generally, if you've lived in fear for a long time, of course your brain is wired for survival. Your brain is wired not to trigger any kind of situations that are going to cause you to have to face what you fear. That's just normal human behavior. That's just in a very general sense. And I realize that a lot of the people that we do business with every day, and a lot of the people that we have as friends, and a lot of the people that we encounter see the world differently because some are fear-based and others are faith-based. Now, again, you do have to make sure that what you have faith in is actually powerful enough to do what it is you, you need done. But I realize, looking at the world, I don't acknowledge a human as the final master, unless, of course, we're talking about Jesus Christ. So if human beings tell me in my community, well, you know, there's only so many options, I'm like, oh, really? I'm going to question you. I'm going to make your life difficult. I was a professional journalist. So I'll dig into you because I don't accept oh we got wind today <laughs> it just started I've got a storm moving in I don't accept as a basis for life that any mortal sinful human being is my master so if you tell me things are absolute and it's not God that said it I'm likely to question either in person or I'll go do my research and find out. That's just kind of how that is. Um, there are certain things, I mean, obeying the law is important because God says it is. But it's just like telling me in my community what we can't do based on you being afraid of outcome X. If if this goes wrong, if this goes wrong, if this goes wrong, it ain't going to cut it with me. And it's not going to cut it with most of the people I work with, but that's also because we have lived significant portions of our lives. I'm the youngest of this group being faith-based and not fear-based and when that is your outlook your brain just works differently it doesn't make you better it just means that you see difficulty scales differently and that there's no reason for me to be upset at people who just are not there yet as you grow as a person not everybody is at the same place at the same time so one way to keep anger and frustration down is just to realize, okay, this person is just not in the same place that I am, not yet, okay? They're just not there yet. 
Now, does this mean you continue to do business with them, understanding that sometimes you can't help it? There are a lot of fear-based people in this world because of situations, um, because of trauma. But it gives you a sense of maybe if I can find a way to what I said to the person I talked to about this is what we're doing is we trigger we're triggering them we don't mean to but we're triggering them because we're asking to do things outside the box we're taking rules that they just accept and we're like do we have to do it that way we're triggering them can we find a way to approach this such that we can help them heal and in helping them heal and not be traumatized or, 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 or be dealing with old trauma if we can ease that can we get more stuff done? Now, I don't actually have an answer for you on that. I don't. And the reason I don't have an answer for you on that is just because sometimes you can't reach people the way they need to be reached. It's not, it's not, it's just not where you can get to it. But it's just a different way of thinking of community work. In cases where nobody's life is in danger, I mean, we kind of dug into the issue. It is serious, but it's not unworkably serious. But in cases like this, when a community needs to stay in community, maybe there is another path. So I thought that might be valuable to some of you today. Uh, Faith-based thinking and fear-based thinking is different. And notice I said thinking. I'm not talking about irrationalism. I mean, my next quick hit is going to be about this whole Lamar Whitehead situation, the latest one. But I'm talking about faith-based thinking and reasoning. You can do that. Faith and reason actually work together very well. They just have a sense of who's your master? Who's your daddy? And if you have a, 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 if you have a God who is infinite and can do all things, your thinking is not limited by someone who has to be afraid of another human being that shall die. Alright, that's just a quick thought for you as I continue to enjoy this summer day while the sun is still out and um, I have one more to do but I may actually break that down and zoom later we'll see what happens all right enjoy your day goodbye